We were just talking about China Doll. Yes. Joni Lar, 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 whatever. Lar, yeah. Lar, Lar. She used to be China on the on uh, the WWF, and then uh, Vince, you know, kicked her out and said, "You can't use the name anymore. You can't use the name. Can't, we we own everything. We own you. Please leave." So she changed her name to China Doll. Yeah. And uh, this is what you want when you die, <laughs> unexpectedly. You want you want China Doll talking for you on Larry King, <laughs> uh, sounding completely <laughs> incoherent. <laughs> It's just babbling. They should have been a tag team wrestling team. Yeah. Now that's an idea. A tag team wrestling team. Team, team. A lot of teams in there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. It's the Tylenol PM. This I'm audio is great. China on Larry King last night. Listen to this. And we were just saying that uh, she's going to be next. She's yeah, be she, next. she really sounds like she, she's on that road. She's, she pretty much lives the same uh, lifestyle as uh, Anna Nicole Smith. Here's China. From Larry King. China, you're having a rough time with this. I totally saw that coming. <laughs> I feel that. Um, you saw it coming? But and from my perspective. Is she on after the Andy Dick I mean, interview? I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell voice is that? <laughs> I, I totally feel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm on the same drugs that she's on. <laughs> yeah, right. And it really um, upsets me to think I might have to change my drugs. I actually died last night, but they were able to revive me, so I was like, ah, I like totally die last night. You might want to stop doing this. And she said, I'm not. You know what you miss with China? What you guys are missing with China? She tries the whole time when she's talking not to sound manly. Like a man. But then it pops out every, every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tragic to have this awful thing happen to my friend, <laughs> Anna Nicole Smith. It's terrible to think that this tragic event might actually happen to some holy sh Wow. <laughs> Wait, Larry, I gotta scratch my <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's, she's trying so hard to sound like a, like she's a female. Yeah. I don't know what the hell's going on inside that body. It's such a tragedy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let me punch myself in the... Uh... And stupid Larry King. Yeah. What does he know? We're here talking with Greta Garbo. <laughs> what year is it? I don't know. What do you think about that whole fatty Arbuckle Coke <laughs> bottle debacle? Wasn't that horrible? The Black Doll. The Black Doll, you murders. Yes. We'll be talking <laughs> right. to some of the people that were there. We'll be talking to the head. We got an exclusive. <laughs> what? We got the upper half of the body and then the exclusive lower half interview on Wolf Blitzer's Situation Room. Because that's more of a situation. I when can make something the lower with the head. half of a body sits in your interview room, <laughs> that's... you're in trouble, folks. <laughs> that's coming up after the break, Edward G. Robinson. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get back to this. Back up. Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, nah, nah, nah. I just everybody's so sad now. I mean, what this woman has been ridiculed from a joke. Uh, um, <laughs> people have taken advantage of her. You know, why, like, you start to go, why, why, why are you doing this? You know. Um. Wow. Because wow. because she sounded just like you? Yeah. That's why? I like how she was just doing like, uh, just like every every word, like a thesaurus. Of being, <laughs> she's been <laughs> ridiculed, uh, made fun of, uh, embarrassed by other people. Uh, just mocked. Mocked, yeah. Uh, What's another one? Uh, uh, vilified. Mentally, I keep passing out. Jeered. Like, Made fun of. <laughs> oh, I mean, cheers. <laughs> made fun of. <laughs> well, ridiculed. This is why I love the guys uh, that work for us, Anthony. The next track is labeled China Continues to Explain Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here it is from Larry King last night. Um, I just. It's hard for people to relate. Um. That when you're dealing with uh, public scrutiny or uh, nonstop, or the, the you know the, everybody's watching you, everybody's looking at you, and everything is usually towards the negative. And she's done you know reality shows and 
I've done, I've done the material. I've, I've been involved in. Do you, feel, right? do you hear what I'm saying though? Yes. The she, voice starts to yeah, come out, and uh, she has to like knock it back down. I've done the reality shows. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I was involved with them. What was it like? Uh, did you ever see Anna Nicole dating President Kennedy? <laughs> Comment, China. <laughs> what? No, you seem as confused as I am, Larry. Mine's drug induced. Yours must be Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Alzheimer's. Yeah. Next, we'll Larry. be talking with Humphrey Bogart about his relationship. Larry, you're, you're old. You're uh, decrepit. Uh, gonna die soon. <laughs> 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 she just keeps explaining, defining a word over and over. Yeah. Again. She's like so connected to the situation. Too. I did reality shows. She did some reality shows. Uh, I, uh, the stars in a house. Uh, we're all just part of a living organism on this big blue marble, <laughs> aren't we? It's an enigma wrapped what? up in a riddle. In a riddle. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I was talking with Rutherford B. Hayes the other day, <laughs> yeah, let's get. Then we gotta get more of this. What an ass, Larry King is. I was having a sarsaparilla with Winston Churchill. <laughs> We just got done hunting the rare white rhino. <laughs> There's plenty of them. Yeah. <laughs> There's like herds of them I've seen. Global well, warming. I was in Greenland last year in 1946, <laughs> <laughs> celebrating the fall of the National Regime. <laughs> She's done, you know, reality shows, and I've done, I've done them too, and I've done, I've been involved in <laughs> wrestling. I feel that I okay. feel when when they talk about when she talks about her feelings that they're the same exact as mine. Yeah, yeah. Well, watch she it. loved, <laughs> and I have one. <laughs> <laughs> you too. <laughs> I just feel it sometimes. Scrotum. It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> Your name is China. What do you think about how Nixon is opening up China to the United States? Comment. <laughs> Are you a fan of the panda bear? <laughs> <laughs> They're adorable. Some athletes, some Olympic athletes have been taken hostage. <laughs> I don't know if you wanted to comment. We might have to cut in. Breaking story. Uh, from Lakehurst, New Jersey, some kind of airship disaster. <laughs> we'll fill you in on the horror. <laughs> uh, I just want to hear them moan to each other. Uh, 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 Larry, uh, China. <laughs> this show should be on the History Channel. <laughs> yeah. uh, here, here we go. Here we go. More. Uh, the wife of... Oh. China. Okay, more China. Good. I, I don't care about anyone else. Do you buy what uh, China's saying? That uh, not you know, at all. In the, you don't agree? Not at all, Larry. That's um, I just was. Uh, this is the wife of uh, Trim Spa CEO doing damage control. Says China's not friends with Anna. In the Bahamas, oh. visiting with Anna three weeks ago. Myself, John James, we're close friends of Anna. And um, when I asked her about Joni Lawyer, her name, uh, China, if she was friends with her, she said not at all. And um, it seems to me that Caddy. China keeps putting everything back on her and trying to put herself in the limelight. But the pure fact is. Dear <laughs> <laughs> <You're> Larry. Dear <laughs> <laughs> Larry. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> wow, man, China's nuts, huh? China, what do you think about your people's work on the transcontinental railroad? <laughs> Will it be completed on schedule to drive the golden spike? Comment, China. <laughs> Why do your people wear those pointy hats? <clears throat> China, comment. Well, here's the next clip. Uh, China tries not to admit that she was stalking Anna Nicole Smith. <laughs> stalking? <laughs> China, I'm implicating you in her murder. 
Why the f did I watch? My name Reports is Harold. Reports coming night. in. You ever notice he, he's been wearing suspenders so long they've literally like pulled down that muscle in between the neck <laughs> and his shoulders. It's growing like when it's tr when a sign is next to a tree for long enough and it engulfs the sign. That's what Larry's body's doing to his suspenders. Doctor, I know. pry the suspenders out of it's the like, gaps in my shoulders. It's like sleeping with your contact lenses on. He just never takes the suspenders off. <laughs> Leave them on all the time. Because well, it's holding up everything. Yeah. <laughs> everything. Uh, here we go. China tries not my to admit. My would hit the floor if I didn't keep my suspenders on. <laughs> Comment. <laughs> Comment, China, on my Turkish taffy. <laughs> uh, China, you want to respond to what Monique said, that you were not a friend of, of Anna Nicole's and that they take umbrage that you go around saying you were? <laughs> I'm shocked because that wasn't the point. The point was uh, I didn't speak to Anna a lot afterwards because she. Well, I tried to, but she wouldn't. But she didn't want to. She, uh, Major uh, Nelson, I. I, I, well, I don't think it's that she didn't want to be a friend of, of mine. I think it's just that you want to be alone. You know, it's, alone. you kind of don't want to go out. Or she, she asked me to many times to come over to the. To go over and hang out at the pool with her, and then I, at those times I didn't want to go out of my. I, I think Paula Abdul, China, and Anna Nicole Smith all have the same drug dealer. The same drugs. Same drug they dealer. sound all the same. Reports coming in in her hotel room found on the night table: garlic and Welch's grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> Is this news? Can you OD on garlic? Dude, this isn't a podcast. This is CNN. I know. This, this is CNN. This. And who's Monique? Who the f who f knows? Who the f <laughs> right. Who is comedian, Monique? Right? Monique is uh, the CEO's wife, I guess. CEO of Trim Spa. Oh, okay. Uh, they were they were reaching last. Oh, night. they're trying to backpedal a little yeah. bit. All right, here's uh, Monique says Anna said China was indeed a stalker. Mm -hmm. Well, um, when I was at Daniel's and my husband was at Daniel's funeral, I asked her, why isn't there any family members? What about your friends? And I remember uh, China being on your show when Daniel just died. And as far as I'm concerned, taking some low shots about right away she went to all these allegations like she knew all this stuff about Anna. But yet when I talked to Anna, she said that she kind of was like a stalker and she would call her and Anna didn't want to return her calls. Um, so for someone to make claims like they know something about someone when they haven't even spoken to them for a while, right. I just well, why is this about why is okay, this about we'll get being a, uh, uh, we'll get, because so because she, proper? Because just for credentials, that's all. But we'll get off that now. We want us to go back to uh, to Anna Nicole. Exactly. Uh, well, exactly. go back to uh, my next question. Uh, talkies, do you think they'll catch on? <laughs> Why is this about the fact that I don't really know her and I'm on TV talking about it? <laughs> I mean, what do you think about it? I was just a friend. I said at her funeral, her father's, her son's funeral, <laughs> who died? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> She's uh, she's just downright creepy. We had her in recently. Yes, yeah, yeah. she's just lost. There's something in those eyes that no, it's long gone. Long gone. They're man. glazed over. Long gone. <clears throat> I don't know. It's not the point. The point of the matter is that take, I just feel very sorry for her. <laughs> take very her in the sorry. death pool. Take her in the death pool. Put the lotion in the bucket. <laughs> oh. Oh. She's tucking and dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And and we've Sometimes been goofing on the news stupid. and the coverage of the Anna Nicole Smith, so this is a pretty good segue right here. Yeah, uh, goofing, uh, joshing, uh, playing around, uh, f f fooleridge. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tom Foolery. <laughs> she, she sounds like Tom Broca and uh, uh, Tara Reid at the same at time. At the same time. <laughs> at the same time. Oh my God! I'd be happy. I can't believe Anna Nicole Smith is dead. It's just shocking. I just seen her the other day. Oh my gosh, you guys! <laughs> what a complete tragedy. How could this have happened? <laughs> Such a beautiful a girl. I saw her spread in Pentasil lovely. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, she's dead. <laughs> I could bring her back to life, Heyman. 